Hello again, YouTube channel. This is, of course, Moonlight Tamer. And I finally got a deck profile for you guys today. And I finally got this fucker done before I forget the deadline. So I'm sorry if I'm a little bit late. Like, this little late on the deadline. But, so. Oh, um, before I get on with the deck profile video, I want to say I have a new playmat. It's awesome. And <laughs> the funny thing is, me and my friend were just trying to get, like, into, like was trying to get it at the same time but I always told him just you know there's there gonna be more shipped in pretty soon and I just barely got this fucker like on I don't know like yesterday so I am pretty much thrilled with myself because you know it cost me a little bit of a loan but I was off by three dollars and I got it so yeah you guys can probably say I'm a very in a very heavy mood because well <laughs> Not only do I have a new playmat, I have a, finally a deck profile I wanted to show you guys for a very long time ever since New Year's. This deck was going to be introduced on New Year's, but I didn't get all the cards, so sorry. Sorry about it. Anyways, um, this deck is called is the Royal Paladin deck, um, Jewel Knights. So, and this deck is um, what I consider... I play tested this all, um, all day today. Um, because my friend wanted me to see how I do with Royal Paladins. And honestly, this is not a bad build, but this is actually the very first, um, Jewel Knight series Vanguard deck I have ever done, I think. No way I lied. There's the Silver Thorns, there's the Amaterasu, there's the... The only thing I don't think I did it was Angel Fe was Angel Feather's build. But, um, we'll get to that on in the next two weeks, so. There will be a deck profile for that one. But until then, here's the, this one. Also, this deck profile, this deck profile build, is been inspired by Korin Tatsunagi. So, feel free to comment on about it if you like. So, for starting Vanguard, we have Dreaming Jewel Knight Tiffany. I love this little girl to death. She is freaking awesome. Um, her forerunner, of course, is that when a Royal Paladin rises unit, you can make her the rear guard. Okay, any open to any rear guard. Her activation skill in the rear guard circle. You can put this in the soul. Choose up to two of your other rear guards with jewel knights in their name. And those units get 3,000 power at the end of that turn. So your front row or your back row, doesn't matter what you choose, It's this card will give it an extra boost. So that's fantastic. And the new um, the new support for jewel knights won't be coming out more, the more further support won't be coming out until set 14 brilliant strikes. So till then, I'll be setting with this one. So, of course, you can't have a deck without four heal triggers. Um, Arden, Jewel Knight, Polly. Pa la 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 Polly. <laughs> I don't know why I got that sound like my head now. Um, I did change some things around in this deck um, to make it more of a Jewel Knight series. However, there will be more of an update featuring these decks anyway. So, feel free to comment about this deck, whatever you like the most. So, Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I got four draw triggers, um, de Devoting Jewel Knight Tabitha. I think she's very, quite beautiful, actually, to be honest. And she probably lives in the city. Looks like New York. Except a little bit more cleaner, more celestial-like. I think. Oh, well. What am I, what am I, what am I, what am I, I know. I've never been there before. Although I wish I would want to go. Um, there's four criticals. Um, Blazing Jewel Knight Rachel. Kind of a bit of a fiery temper, though, don't you think? Yes, um, there's four of each trigger in this deck, so yeah. There's Jewel Knight Glit Me, the stand triggers. Um, everyone's probably gonna be, dis gonna be dissing on me for using stand triggers, because everyone's saying that full aggression, like, whole bunch of, sh uh, like, a shit ton criticals and a heal trigger can do the, the game rail. Well, it depends on your player's preference, okay? This is, my play styles are usually more aggressive and more power hungry and soul based but I'm trying out different clans because I want to find one that's more suited for me so forgive me for not in interrupting you bastards anyways um, I got four copies of stinging jewel knight Shelly I normally do these in like alphabetical order but I, I think she deserves the main main phase um, I love this skill about her when this unit attacks if the number of other rear guards that you have with jewel knight in their name is Three or more, this unit gets three thousand three thousand to end that battle. So 
Make sure you all fill up your rear guard so she can get the bitch, the bitch fired up. <laughs> Sorry, I have to be in a little bit more, com more of a comic mind these days. Anyways, I got four copies of Jewel Knight Prismy. What this little kitty cat, little pussy cat does is that you can discard one card from your hand and draw one card, but only if you have um, three or more Jewel Knights in the rear guard. That's the only way you can do it. But then again, why am I jibber-jibber about this? You guys already probably know the effects anyways. <laughs> so, anyways, you can't have... Also, a deck without the four nullifies. People would prefer to have no nullifies in their decks, but to me, I became more accustomed with nullifies in my decks, and due to my OCD, I think I deserve a deck better. And the numbers have to be right. Isn't that kind of bad or kind of worse? I don't know. Name your opinion about that. Um, I'm trying a different Royal Paladin. Two copies of the Lake Maiden Leanne. Um, what I love about this card is that you can rest her, and you can discard one card and just draw another card and, and replace for that. So just, you know, kind of depends what your personal preference is. I don't know what you guys prefer to change out against Liam, but um, I tried out Unicorn today, and honestly, it's just kind of sucky sucky. So anyways, <clears throat> we got four copies of Dogmatized Jewel Knight Sybil. Because, well, everyone's always saying that three is enough, but four, you guys have mostly a Jewel Knight deck anyways, so... And you can counterblast her. Um, you can counterblast her skip using her skill. You can counterblast two cards in the damage zone, and you can choose one grade one or less jewel knight and call the open rear guard and shuffle your deck. So it's a, it's a special superior call. But then again, isn't that what um, royal paladins and shaw paladins are mostly about, anyways? I don't know. I kind of forgot which one. We got fellowship jewel knight Tracy. Again, her effect applies to Shelly as well, so that's just what I'm going to show you. But she is a very kick-ass 9k, or in the Tekken case, 12k attacker. So yeah, awesome, and she's a one mean bitch elf with an axe. <laughs> Next up in our, for the great, for the last rate grade threes, we have three Knight of Salons Galatines. Why, you guys are asking why I put Galatine in here? Well, he's a 10k, she 10k beat stick, and um, Good Interceptor, but what I personally feel like, this is mostly a build from the actual Corrin Tartanagi deck. Minus Palamedes. I don't have that little grade 3, unfortunately. That's kind of sad. Sad Panda, I know. And now on to the Grand High Bitch herself. The grade 3, 4 copies of Lean Jewel Knight Salome. What I love about this card the most is that you can use her as Special Counterblast. You can just counterblast two cards with Jewel Knight in their names. You can search your deck for up to one card with Jewel Knight in their names and Superior call it. So for your deck. However, this is a deadly combination in my personal opinion. If what I've noticed on, this, on the episode. Um, her limit break is, when this unit attacks, if the number of your rear guards you have with Jewel Knight in their names is four or more, this unit gets 2,000 plus and then plus one critical until the end of that battle. However, um, I'll get to the other part of break right in a minute. So, yeah, there's the Grand High Bitch herself, and trust me, she's awesome! And finally, we have four copies of the break ride, Pure Heart Jewel Knight Ashley. Now, this is the thing I'm going to be talking about the most, and I'm sure you all probably know about this, but I'm going to say it anyways. Once you ride, ride um, Salome on top of Ashley in the break ride, you get 10,000 power plus one critical, right? Well, and when Salome attacks, she gets another critical plus 2,000 more power. That's basically 12,000 more power to the Vanguard, and th that's triple critical right there. So, yeah, and her passive skill is when she attacks the Vanguard, as long as she's the Vanguard herself, she gets 2k until the end of that battle. And we call her Fiona the Lord, and I don't know why the fuck they put the Lord thing in there already, so it's so fucking confusing! But yes. So, feel free to comment on... Ugh, I'm sorry, there's too much lighting in here. There. I hope that little helps better. Anyways, leave a comment down below. Subscribe um, to Moonlight Tamer. Rate, like, dislike this comment, this video. And share your personal thoughts about this deck profile. And all, and see the rest of my videos, you know, in further to, further noticed. Um, so, anyways, there's my deck profile for the Royal Paladin slash Jewel Knight series. I hope you guys very much loved it. And hopefully you guys give me some tips of... 
how do you like combinations with them? Because, you know, I'm not that quite familiar with Royal Paladins, but oh my god, you gotta love the Valkyries. It's the Ride of the Valkyries. Oh yes, I'm being dramatic. Um, anyways, and then after this deck profile, there will be another deck profile in two weeks. It's gonna be featuring my Angel Feathers slash Celestials. Which I currently got today, but I'm not going to show them to you right now. Because <laughs> I'm still working on them myself. Anyways, leave a comment down below. Subscribe, like, and, you know, the etc. etc. thing right there. Anyways, this is Moonlight Tamer. Have a great weekend. Party all night. Sleep all day. And just have a great enthusiastic day. Okay? <laughs> this is, um... Anyways, have a great weekend. Bye!